Yeah, hello everyone. You're welcome once more to MEPH, your YouTube channel where we create problems in math covering a variety of topics. So today we are going to be looking at a, a problem on statistics. Okay. You can pause this video, attend the question, and come back to this video to see if you are right with what you're doing. All right, so let's quickly look at the problem. The problem says find correct to two decimal places, very important. The two decimal places, the mean of we have one half, comma two to third, comma three three quarter, four four fifth, and then five you know, five over six. Right, so our solution to this problem is going to be remember our mean is equal to one. So if we have a group of numbers, we are going to sum all the numbers, so sum of all what? The given numbers. Divide by what? Sum of what? Their frequency. So the sum of all these numbers, but for this question, we are given fractions. So our mean will be, I'm going to sum all the fractions, so I have one and a half plus Two to third plus three three over four plus four four over five plus five four five over six. So all this is going to divide. Now the sum of the frequency we have one two three four five. So we are going to put five in it as the denominator. So by the time we solve this, we are going to get the value of r. Right. So let's solve it. And see what we're going to get. And the first thing we want to do is we want to change all these mixed fractions to what? We want to change them to you know, an improper fraction. So let's change them. All right, so my mean is going to be okay, two times uh, one is two plus one. So I have three over two plus three times two is six plus two. I have 8 over 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is going to give us what? I have 15 over 4 plus 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is going to give us 24 over 5. 6 times 5 is what? 30 plus 5 is going to give us 35 over 6. So the sum of all these we are going to divide it by five. All right. So what's our next step? Our next step is we are going to work on this fraction. Okay. How do we work on the fraction? The first thing is we want to look for what the LCM of what? two, three, four, five, and six. So LCM of what two, three, four, five, and six. So let's quickly do that. I have two. Three, four, five, six. So two can go. If two goes, what do we have here? One, okay, three. This will be two. This will be five. And this will be three. You can see that two is still there, so two can go. So one, three, one, five, three. Now at this point, what can go? We can now go with what three? So we have one, 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 five, one. So finally, five can go. So we have all ones. All right, so our LCM is the product of all this, okay? We're going to multiply two times two, you know, times three and times five. So let's see what we are going to get if we multiply all this. So I have um, my LCM as what? Okay, LCM is two times two times three times five. So two times two is going to give us four times three times five. Four times three is 12 times five. So that will give us what? 60. So LCM is what? 60. So since we've gotten the LCM, we are going to use it to solve the numerator. So let's see our LCM is what? 60. 
Okay, 2 divided 60 is going to give us 30, so 3 multiplied by 30 plus 3 will divide 60 is going to give us what 20. So if it gives us 20, we are going to do 8 multiplied by 20 plus 4 will divide by 60. That will give us what? It's going to give us 15. So the 15 there is going to multiply the 15. All right, so. 5 is going to multiply 16, that will give us what 12. So 24 is going to multiply what 12. All right, so plus 6 is going to divide 16, which is 10. 10 is going to multiply what 35. So 35 okay, times 10. So all these, okay, we are going to solve all these. Remember, we are dividing all these by 5. All right, so let's solve all this. We are going to have this time, this is going to give us 90. This time, this is going to give us 160 plus 15 times 15 is what 225 plus okay. We have a uh, 24 times what 12 that will give us what 288 plus 35 times 10 will give us 350. So, all this is going to divide what 60. Okay, these can become times, all right? I can reverse this as what? One over what? Five. All right, so. We are going to add up, all right? So if I add uh, this plus this, what do we get? We are going to get uh, 250, okay? I have 250 plus what? 225 plus 288 plus 350. All this. So times one here is still this. Okay, five times or 60. So we have 60 times five. So that's our mean. Okay. So let's simplify further. All right. So if I had these two, it's going to give me what? I mean, if I add those two, I'm going to get what? This plus this is five. Five plus three is seven. Two plus three is four. Five plus two eight eight plus three fifty. Divide by five times this is what? Five times six is thirty. Put the zero, so we have three hundred. So our mean is going to be. Now we're going to add this. If we add this, what are we going to get? 5 plus 8 is 13, carry 1. So 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 1 is what? 16, so carry 1. 2 plus uh, 4 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so plus 350, divided by 300. So this would be 0 plus this is going to give us 3. 5 plus uh, 6 is going to give us 11, carry 1. So 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so divide by Right, so from this, what can we observe? Okay, I can observe that we can use three to divide this and this. We can reduce this by three and reduce this, this by three. How do I know we can reduce this by three? We apply the law of what divisibility, where you do some digits. If I add one plus one plus one plus three, six. So since the six can divide three, it means three can divide. So 3 divided this is going to give us what? We have 100. Now let's use 3 to divide this. All right. So 3, 1, 1, 1, 3. 3 into 11 is how many times? We have is 3 times, which is 9. We we'll subtract this is what? 2. We okay, bring down the 1. So 3 into 21 is 7 times, which is 21. Subtract this, bring down the 3. 3 into 3 is 1 time, so we have 3, 7, 1. All right, so my mean is going to be now 100 divided uh, 371 is how many times? It's 3 times, remember that was 71 over 100. So this is going to give us 3.4. 100 divided 71 is going to be 7, 1, 0. Remember, the question says we should keep our answer in two decimal places, so I'm going to count for one, two. 
So since this is not to 5, our answer is going to be 3.7. So this gives us the solution to this problem. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video to your friends, your loved ones, and so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.